working off with me, teacher Nisha. Today I'm going to teach you how to solve equation that's related with the current like you paddle in downstream or upstream. Okay, let's go together. Okay, look at the equation. Jasmine goes for paddle downstream from up here to a coffee shop along Colorado River. She's spending two over three hours. But if she paddles back to the pier, it's an upstream there, she will spend two hours and one third hours. How long will she do paddling in the steel stream? This is one that what they want you to find. Okay, I'm going to help you to set up equation. Let's see this one equation. And this one is Jasmine. She go for paddles. Here is a pier, here is their coffee shop. Okay, coffee shop here, coffee shop. And this one is pier. Okay, she go downstream here. In the question, she, she spent um, two over three hours. You have to turn from hours to minutes. And if she go back, that one could be um, upstream. I'm sorry for this one. The current always go this way. This one is the current. The current go this way. Yeah. Okay. And this one is Colorado River. Okay, if she go upstream, she have to spend him longer. That means she spend him two hours and one third hours. That one the question give to you. Okay, I'm going to um fly out, transfer chain from hours to minute. Okay, what makes it you know? You know that one hour equals sixty minutes. Okay, so two and a half hours multiplied with 60 is equal, we cut it, three, one, two, one, so it's equal 40 minutes. You do the same thing, two, one third, three multiplied with two is six, six plus one is seven over three. You multiply with 60, so you turn from hour to minute. Okay, what you do? Cut one, cut two. So it's equal 140 minutes. Yeah, and it makes sense because if it's go downstream, that means you go faster. So you spend less time, just 40 minutes. But if you go upstream, that means you have to paddle opposite side with the currents. So that means you have to spend more energy and spend more time. So it's 140. Now let's set up equation. Look, next one, time for steel stream. I give it x, this one is what we want to know. And then time for downstream or upstream, I give it like y. Okay. Next one, I'm going to set up equation. So come back, we know that downstream is equal 40 minutes here. That seems equal 40 minutes. We set up equation x minus y equal 40. And when you go upstream, spend more time, x plus y equal 140. What I do, I want to find x. So this one I set up equation 1, equation 2. What I want to do, because I want to find x. I plug them together x plus a is 2x, negative y plus y, so it's gone, 0. 40 plus 140 is 180. Okay, so I know that x equals 180 over 2. Cut that. 190. So x time that just means we should to, for paddling in still steep is 90 minutes. We share 90 minutes, two um, hours. You have to divide it by 60. Yeah, because one hour equal 60 minutes. Cut them, cut them, three, two, three. So it's equal three over two. So that means it's equal one, one over two hours. So, and this one is X. All the time, or if you come back to the question again. Okay. How long she will do paddling in steel stream? 
So that means she will spend time one hour and 30 minutes or one hour and a half. So this one is your answer. Okay, thank you for watching my videos. If you have questions, feel free to leave comments. So good luck. สวัสดีค่ะ bye.